This week's tutorial is one I've been waiting to do for a while. It's painting on buttercream. I decided this week to paint on American buttercream, which I'm not used to working with. I usually worked with Swiss meringue buttercream, but I, I thought I would try this out. And I use food color gel with just a little bit of vodka. And I found that I really didn't even need the vodka. So you can just use it pretty much straight. So I did actually two paintings, which you'll see later. I did this one, which I ended up not liking so much and was having trouble just sort of getting out of my head. So after this is all said and done and I talked you through it, I just left the cameras rolling and just let myself freely paint without having to think. And I did that on the back and I ended up painting this one, which I ended up liking much better. Of course, usually when you're loose and free, it just comes out better. So anyway, you'll see sort of the sped up process of this one at the end. My suggestion is if you do decide you want to do this, just smear some buttercream onto a cake board and just play around. Use petal dust mixed with water, vodka, food coloring. There are some great like the edible art paint kits and just see what you like painting with and how much it actually takes for you to dilute the color with uh, the vodka or the water to see how you're comfortable painting. And then let that sit out for a while because your climate might be more humid or whatnot. Put it in the fridge, see if it bleeds. Because what I found is uh, after a couple days I let this sit, there was a little bit of bleeding. And in the areas where I used a lot of the white gel food color, there was a little bit of cracking, which I didn't mind so much because it was just kind of textural. But if it bothers you, you might want to see how that plays out where you live. And so I would just say before you just go ahead and say, yeah, I'm going to take an order for this. I would suggest you sort of playing around with it first and seeing how it works for you. Also make sure you start off with a chilled cake because you don't want it to be soft and you don't want your paintbrush pushing and making too much of indentations on your cake. Also back there, if you haven't noticed, shameless plug, my Etsy shop got some pretty cute tees in there if I do say so myself. I've been loving wearing them. They're super soft and cozy and pretty much all I've been wearing for like the past week. So check it out. For today, I'm just going to limit my paint painting color palette to three colors. So I'm using sort of a rose pink and a forest green and just a white. And then I have a bowl of water and just some folded up paper towels and also a little bit of vodka. This is just a watercolor brush and it's a round brush that comes to a tip. I don't know, here you can see it's an eight round. Uh, I just got it at Michael's. I've chosen to use green and the red because they're complementary colors. So they are opposite on the color wheel and that is going to give you a color palette that looks a little bit more sophisticated. So I've mixed a little red, a little green, and a little white, and I've gotten this sort of grayish mauve color. So I'm gonna start out with that. All I'm gonna do is come in and I'm gonna start with some back petals. It'll be really simple. Part of the only real difference of painting on buttercream and fondant is you can't really so much clean up your messes if you mess up on buttercream. So you just sort of have to go in. I mean, you could scrape it off, start over. So these are sort of the back petals. And then I'm gonna dip into my green and a little bit more of my red without the white so that I can make a darker color in the center. Just a hint of the white into the palette again. Again, now I'm going to just make some petals that go into the front. Now it is important that you have a soft paintbrush. You don't want to use a hard or plastic cheap paintbrush because the bristles are too hard and they're going to gouge into your buttercream too much. So you don't want to do that. And so basically to paint the, full, the most forward petals, I'm just dipping my brush into the white and then sort of mixing it in with my colors that are already on the palette.
kind of connecting some of these back petals so they don't look so separate. I would say you'd want to start off with the dark and then go with the lighter over that. That's why I started with the back petals. Now I'm just going to hit the top of the front petals a little bit with just the white to up the contrast. It's kind of hard for me to teach this because I'm, when I'm painting, I'm always just sort of going back and forth and experimenting. So I don't always know where it's leading. Okay, so let's see. I don't like this part, so I've cleaned off my brush and I dipped it into a little clear vodka to see how much you can actually correct. So, I mean, you can a little, but it starts to just lift off the buttercream. So basically, unless you wanna just scrape it off, you're sort of left with what you have. Okay, so we'll come back to that. We're gonna let that dry just a little bit. So now I'm dipping mostly in my green. And take a little white. And I like sort of just mixing it all in the center well because the colors start to mix and you get different tones and shades. So that's nice. So I'm just gonna make leaves. And one trick I always do when I'm painting flowers, when I start to feel like what is going on and I'm feeling sort of lost in the middle of it all is I will add some leaves because it really starts to make it look like flowers more definitely and then and then I can sort of loosen up and just start painting more freely which is when you get the better result and you're sort of in your head and afraid to just go for it it's when at least for me I tend to muck everything up so if I can just get some leaves in there this is why I love these round brushes because they come to a point and I'm just letting that sort of be the tip of my leaves and since I didn't like this area I'm gonna put a leaf down there as far as painting on buttercream, it's a little more difficult to plan out your painting. I mean, you can draw it out and then sort of have it to reference so you know what you're doing, but it's not as easy as just making a like a um, pencil transfer like you can for fondant cakes. Then I want some new leaves, so I'm gonna dip into my white. These are just gonna be sort of shorter smaller leaves but see what i mean about keeping the color palette limited is you can get a wide range of color with just the few colors on your palette but since you're using a very small color palette all the colors are sort of cohesive and it doesn't look so chaotic as if you were just painting everything with a whole rainbow of colors so i'm just sort of dabbing and lifting Okay, then I'm going to come in with just some mostly straight red and green. And with the very tip, hardly applying any pressure, I'm just going to drag down and make some little stems. And you can even come in with a toothpick or something like that. And I'm gonna scrape. Add a little more white to my palette. And I'm just gonna add some little dots. Now I'm just going to go back in and maybe lighten the back petals just a little. Just because I think they're looking a little too disconnected from the front petals. Too much of a contrast. And I also think I need to make some separations in the front petals. It's not just 
one big giant front petal. So the one good thing about painting on buttercream over fondant is that the colors seem to be more blendable for longer. And I think it's just because you're sort of just mushing around the buttercream, but that is a definite plus. So when it's all said and done, your painting is going to have some texture to it if you're going back and forth over it, which I think is kind of nice. It's kind of like you painted it with a palette knife. So these little flowers are just the pink and white that I made the little petals with. And then I just came in with some of this grayish mixture that's just on my palette. So painting on buttercream, what would I say? I would say, well, painting on buttercream with gel color and vodka is that I hardly had to use any vodka. It's mostly straight food color. You have to be more direct, but there's a lot of play time. So you can keep working back over it and sort of smudging the buttercream and the paint around. Like I could still keep going on this just to tweak things, but you do have to sort of just play around and also just be willing to commit to what you put on there because you can't erase the same way you can on fondant but I really like the textural quality of it. it sort of looks like oil paint or something like that so if you have any questions on painting with buttercream and what I discovered since I typically don't paint that often on buttercream go ahead and ask me in the comments below and I will see if I have an answer for you